All right, y'all, so we're about to go to the mobile home and we're gonna meet with the contractor. Um, it's actually a, a family friend, kind of, sort of, so we're just gonna see how much these renovations are gonna cost, but I'm starting to think like we might just repost it on Offer Up Facebook Marketplace and not even renovate anything, so we'll see. Um, and if you guys are interested in getting a mobile home, like I said, go and follow Mobile Home Elite Investors. So what happened was I was able to buy, to get into different businesses based off, you know, all the work I was doing last year. So sometimes things don't happen overnight, but because I've been stacking my money, I've been investing my money, now I'm able to get into different business ventures like the car, the, uh, the rental car business, the, um, you know, I'm a landlord of four houses now, and then I have this going on. Um, so that's why I always say step one is to stack your money so that when an opportunity is presented, you can jump on it. If you don't have any money when an opportunity is presented, then you're not going to be able to um, increase your income, right? So I say that to say stack your money. Step one, it doesn't matter what you do for a living. You got to get a side hustle so that you can put it into something else. So you have your nine to five money, then you have your side hustle money, and then you go put it into things that will make you more money or you go start your own business or really. Um, the thing that made me want to get into mobile home and investing is um, if I choose to keep this house, I can do rent to own, right? And I have no landlord responsibilities. So what that means is I can put them on a rent to own loan, right? I become the bank. Say I sell it to them for $25,000, I allow them to make payments for, um, you know, a few years. I keep spitting. <laughs> but I allow them to make payments for a few years, right? I'm no longer the landlord. I'm the bank. So once they pay me off, then I can transfer the title from our name to their names, right? But when the toilet breaks, it's not my business because I'm just the, I'm just the bank. And people will want to do rent to own because... Um, they will own something at the end of their payments, right? And the, the downside of being a landlord is that you have to fix, when somebody messed up your house or somebody calls and they stopped up the toilet, you have to go fix that. That's in regular housing. But if I'm doing rent to own with the mobile homes, I'm no longer responsible for that. Um, I'm not the landlord, I'm just the bank. You just have a loan with me, so I'll give you 25,000, plus I'm gonna put some interest on it. So say I just charge them $1,000 a month, right? I have to pay the lot rent to the mobile home owner. So say the lot rent is three fifty. I pay them three fifty um, out of that one thousand dollars. So the rest I'm gonna um, profit every month, and that's how you get passive income, you guys. And the goal is to get passive income. You know, when you flip stuff, it's not passive. If you're wholesaling or if you're flipping houses or you're flipping mobile homes, it's not passive. Passive income is when you're sitting at home and you're not doing anything, and the money still rolls in. Right? And that's the ultimate goal because you don't want to work for money for the rest of your life. Now, I'm not knocking anybody who has a nine to five. I'm not knocking anybody like that. But I'm saying eventually you want to get to that level because we don't want to work forever. We don't want to work until we're 65, right? So that's what makes me interested, even though I'm going to flip a few of these or um, first, just because I want to um, get the full experience. I want to know everything about mobile home investing. And I think this is the best way for me to learn is to get my feet. Uh, wet and I don't know why I keep talking with my damn hands but <laughs> alright y'all so you're gonna sh uh, the next uh, <laughs> alright check us out once we get to the mobile alright so my sister wants to go in so <laughs> whatever I listen if I hear anything who's Nah, that's some creepy. Why I gotta go first? <laughs> watch out, watch out! <laughs> Alright, get back over here. No, so maybe they just took, open it to leave the smell out. Nah. It's locked. Oh, nah, bro. <laughs> Why is it locked still? <laughs>
Oh, I just walked in one. I'm just sending this to the girl. Views from the six. All right, so today we have to do a photo shoot for Be Love. Uh, my sister is my assistant. This wall doesn't work. I forgot to tell you. Uh, so we're getting this set up. So Be Love is my baby backpack line. If you guys don't know, I am a mother of two babies. Uh, they're four and almost two. So we're getting this set up. I'm trying to get this light turned that way. And that's what we're working with today. So this is part two of the day. What's up you guys so i just got my makeup done um we're gonna do a phone interview for we buy black basically they're a a company that promotes other businesses so they're gonna put me in their email um they're gonna shout me out on their email list they're gonna shout me out on their online magazine and on their instagram page so i'm super excited about that you guys will see a little glimpse of that and then we're also going to go meet up with west coast palettes he took my course he started flipping palettes and now um, he's selling palettes. He's an affiliate for me, and he has some other things going on. Uh, so we're going to go meet up with him, create some content, uh, promote his business, which is, you know, the liquidation warehouse. And it's going to be a great vibe, so stay tuned. Um, so basically what I do is we sell information about how to get money. So um, what we're doing is we go to liquidation warehouses. So big stores like Target, Amazon, uh, Walmart, they sell their products to these liquidation warehouses. So they're selling um, either their overstock, their shelf pulls, their customer returns, and they sell them to the liquidation warehouses. So what I, um, I started flipping these products. I would start going to these warehouses, flipping the products, and then I came out with a course or a video that people pay $25 for and they get all the information as to what to look up, um, some online websites you guys can order from, and people have been able to um, start their own businesses or they just flip the products on Facebook Marketplace or offer up. They sell on their social media. So basically what we're doing is showing people how um, to have an extra income. Pallet man, pallet man. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> we down at West Coast Palette. Man, what is up, man? I got the queen in the house. Y'all already know what it is, man. I told y'all I had some special content coming out here. And guess what? She didn't got herself on that freeway. For all y'all folks that be trying to act like you can't get on the freeway, she came all the way from Arizona to come see your boy down here at West Coast Palace, man. So we here and we are in the area, man. I'm gonna tell you guys real quick how 25 bucks, 25 bucks, no joke, man, 25 bucks changed my life. The way it changed my life was this. The number one thing I've seen in life is this. It is the hardest thing in life is to start something. And half the time people don't wanna start something because you don't have the information. In 2021, I told myself I was looking for another stream of income. And you know what? I stumbled upon this course. And the course said for 25 bucks, I can show you how you can turn used or brand new items into some profit. I took that 25 bucks and I paid it. And you know what I did? <laughs> I procrastinated for three months. I didn't go lie to you. Three? <laughs> three months. Three months. <laughs> I bought it. I bought the course really in like October. I didn't actually buy my first palette until January. You want to know why? Because I was nervous. But you know what I did again? I took the course. I actually watched the course because a lot of times we buy stuff and we don't actually use it. I actually watched the course in January and in 30, 40 minutes, I got up. I went and got myself another, uh, my first palette the next day. And man, that one palette led to 10 palettes, which led into a relationship with the owners of this. I mean, it look, it, it don't look like nothing, but it's something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it led to this beautiful location. You know, we got the marble, we got the, we got the, we got the pool in the back, you know what I'm saying? But it led to this illustrious location where we down here selling palettes, man. And I'm telling you like this, every story is not gonna be the same, but this one thing I do know, man, you take the course, you get the information, you're gonna feel empowered, and that hustler spiller that your mama and your daddy put in you is gonna come roaring out of you. Cause man, we're getting money, man, and it's the most simplest content uh, concept. 
You literally buy this package, cut the plastic, take a picture of the item, make sure it's in a good condition, post the item, meet up with the person, sell the item, put the money in your pocket. That's it. <laughs> like, it's pretty simple. Like, that's the whole process in like, I mean, like 15 seconds, you know what I'm saying? Most importantly, man, get yourself some information. Hey. All right, we got three tips for buying pallets. Tip number one, most important tip two, is always see your money. If you're buying a pallet for 300 bucks, you wanna make sure that you see at least what? 200 bucks before you buy it. If you're buying a pallet for a thousand bucks, you wanna be able to see before you actually purchase that pallet, at least 70 to 80% of your upfront cost in. So for a pallet like this, you spend 800 bucks, you wanna run these codes to make sure that you can actually see yourself making at least five to 600 bucks. Because the cool thing is, this is just the front side of the pallet. You still have deep down in the inside. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, and we're back with tip number two. Tip number two is the big word, research. And what I mean by research is, Come prepared to go any pallet location. Give yourself about 45 minutes to an hour to really do your research. What does research mean in this game? It means taking out your cell phone and actually running these actual SKUs. Each product is gonna have, see these long SKUs? What this is, is that is a quick way to identify what's inside this box. Now, obviously it doesn't tell you the condition of what's inside the box, but it gives you a starting place of what's inside the box. Now, I always assume it's used, so when you run this right here, if it says it's 200 bucks brand new, I'm gonna say, hey, if it's used, I may run it for about 100 bucks. But if I open it and it's brand new, ooh, <laughs> yes, you might be paying 160. <laughs> All right, let's get ready. All right, let's go. This is the last one. All right, and we're here with problem number three. I mean, tip number three, because this is the one where y'all be crying and be blowing our inbox up. Ashley got 47 goddamn DMs because y'all don't know how to handle no problem. Let me tell you, man, let me tell you something. The number three rule is probably one of the most important rules, and this got to do with you. Man, you got to be a goddamn problem solver, man. When you open this box, if this handle don't work the way it's supposed to be. Well, guess what? You know what you do? You post it with the picture showing the description, giving an identical description of what's going on, and you drop the price, fam. That's what you do. You don't you don't throw the whole pallet away because one item got you in your mopies. You don't do that. I'm telling you guys, in life and in pallet buying, you have to be a problem solver. Something else you can also do is this. Hey, if I buy this item and this is missing, it says it's supposed to have two items, guess what I know? At some point, I might get box number two. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hold on to you, baby boo. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I ain't letting you go. Please come back because guess what? At some, back, at some point, you're going to come back down to West Coast Cowboy at West Coast Palace and you're going to buy another pallet and guess what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen. That one you thought got away, she gonna be on that other box. And now you're gonna have your full box and you're gonna be straight. You might not be able to sell it right now, but you'll be able to sell it at some point. But the, at, the, at the end result, you have to be a problem solver. You be a problem solver, you're gonna make money. I just said, look. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a good day.